It's All Good with Iceberg Slim. Welcome to another edition of It's All Good with Iceberg Slim. I'm Iceberg Slim, your host. Got great guests in the studio. It's going to be a great show. We say it every week. We say it again this week, and we're going to back it up. And ain't nothing you can do about it. I'm here with a musical guest, Mr. Russell Craig. How you doing, sir? All right. How you doing, I'm Iceberg? great. Doing great. Russell said, are we going to shake hands? <laughs> yeah, we're going to shake hands. <laughs> How's it going, man? Man, I'm doing well. How about yourself? Doing good. Doing good. Now, we met in the lobby for the second time. Yeah. And we're talking about my great memory, but... uh. I remember us meeting at Collider Idol a few years back. That's right. It was prior to an interview that Kenny and you were doing, and when you put on the glasses, you know, you start working that sexy when you get ready for your performance. <laughs> I remember, you know, so sometimes you have to trigger it in, in the older guys here. So how long you been in the music business? Uh, I guess you could say I've been uh, doing it on my own for about five years now. Okay, what prompted you to attempt music? Um, I've always been interested in music ever since, you know, I was little, uh, but over time, uh, had some friends of the family that, uh, that would let me get up on stage with them, you know, when they were doing their thing. Right. And uh, I got a really good response from the crowd. And once I got of age and uh, I was able to play it, you know, at different places, I, I went and tested the waters, you know, just kind of tried to see if I could do it. And I just, I did so well. I was like, I really like this, yeah. and it was a passion, you know, when you're a kid, that's, you want to be a country music star, so now I'm an adult, and I did it, and it felt good, so I said, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for it. Uh, did you have formal lessons, or you self-taught? Like? I took guitar lessons at my school for three years, I took classical guitar, and then once I got out of middle school, uh, I took private lessons with a guy uh, until I... Uh, left my hometown. I'm originally from Dothan, so I took private lessons with him for five years. So I got eight formal uh, years of playing guitar, and I took uh, about a year's worth of vocal lessons as well. Okay, so you've actually taken the total plunge. Now you said everybody wants to be a country music star. Uh, is that your primary focus? Uh, do you like other types of music? What? I like all types of music. Um, even on my first album that I did, it's I wouldn't consider it to be straight country. I, I put a R and B song on there. There's a couple of southern rock songs on there, and uh, there's a couple of traditional country songs on there. But I like to uh, I like to do a little bit of everything. I don't I don't like to be stuck in in a corner, you know. Now, when we first started talking, you know, I was talking in the lobby, and I said, you know, I was on anesthesia yesterday, so I didn't do a pro uh, I used to do a preview uh, interview. How many albums have you made? I uh, just made one, and I'm currently working on my second one right now. Okay, what's the name of the first? First name is uh, Call Me The Rain. Call Me The Rain, okay. Uh, do you have a title for the second one yet? I haven't come up with one yet. I got an album cover in mind. It's a beautiful picture of me hanging out by a river uh, just down the road. But I haven't thought of a title yet because I really don't know what direction I'm going to go in totally. I got about three songs ready, but I, I really want to finish recording it before I give it the title. Okay, do you have a, of songs that you've uh, written, produced, whatever, do you have a favorite song? Ooh. <laughs> That's a tough one. Yeah. Um, I really like Call Me The Rain. We did a, a really good job on the music video. Um, they all grow on me. It's like the more I listen to them, they just grow on me. I'm, I'm a perfectionist, so when I, when I do something, I'm my worst critic, you know, but yeah. over time as I listen to my stuff, I feel like uh, the more I do, you know, I, I, I get better and better and I feel like I'm improving every time. You know, I'm a DJ, a club DJ, well I used to be, I'm kind of like over the hill now, <laughs> but I'm a lyricist also and I have lyrics that other DJs use, I mean they've used for years now, and I'll go back to their lyrics and I'll say, could have done this right here. Could have done that right there. Right. Do you go through that in your I songwriting? Do. I do. I do so much. Especially like when I sing, I go and listen to my old album, and I'm like, man, I should have hit this note on this and build it up more, or brought it down more. You know, I'm the same way. Yeah. So, on the horizon, what do you have planned? What are you looking to do? Uh, what are you hoping to do? Well, uh, right now I'm enrolled at Central Alabama Community College, and uh, this is my last semester there. So in August, I'll be a full-time Auburn University student, 
Uh, so I'll be a full-time college student and a full-time musician. I got, I'm already booked all the way. I got gigs lined up for October already. So I, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm doing two things at once, three things at once really, cause uh, you know, got to live as well. Got yeah. to work, got to play, got to go to school. <laughs> well, one thing I wanna, I wanna congratulate you on your music obviously, but I wanna congratulate you on the wise choice of becoming a war eagle. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, war eagle. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, just having a good time, man. I mean, it's good to sit down and just talk with you. I've seen, I've seen you on TV. Yes, sir. You know, and uh, when Andrew Martin called me and told me about you and gave me information and everything, and I'm saying, okay. And then when we talked, it worked out. Now, I can talk forever and talk about your musical prowess. There's another way to do it. Could we do a video and show people you know, one of your performances. Let's do it. Hey, let's do it. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And this house just ain't no home. Anytime she goes away. Wonder this time where she's gone. Wonder if she's going to stay. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And this house just ain't no home. Anytime she goes away. And I know, 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 I know. sunshine when she's gone ain't no sunshine when she's gone only darkness every day ain't no sunshine when she's gone this house just ain't Anytime she goes away, anytime she goes away, anytime she goes away. Sound a little bit of Bill Withers there. That's okay. <laughs> Wow, I like that. I love the riff with the guitar. You can tell, you can you can hear the training. I mean, you've got that, uh, it's a feathery feel to the music. I like that. Love the voice too also. Thank you. Um, so who would you say has influenced you more in music, if you could just pick some artist? That's a tough one. Um, country music has been my background. Uh, I just recently, probably in the last couple of years, started branching out. And I've always liked other music, but I mean, as far as, you know, you say my influence, that's, that's the people I looked up to. And I just, I'd have to say Eric Church is probably the guy who's influenced me the most because he's always been so genuine in his interviews. And uh, he's always, you know, been willing to talk about his flaws and mistakes he's made on albums that no one, you know, the, most people wouldn't even hear, but he hears them. And he's, uh, he's not afraid to put what he wants to put on a record. He doesn't let other people dictate it, you know, so, and you can hear that in his newer music. I mean, it, it's just totally different than what everybody else is doing. So I, I have to say, I, I really look up to him. He, he, I don't talk to him, but if he could be a mentor without speaking, I would consider him to be a mentor. Wow, now that's all right. Who else has influenced you? Um, I'm a huge, uh, fan of the band Stained. Um, they, uh, 
they really just spoke to me growing up. All of their music is just, it's produced so well, just everything about the band, they're so tight. And the band I'm in now, um, we do a Stain song and we kind of put our own feel to it. And I feel like uh, me and Aaron Lewis, the lead singer, our voices are similar. I wouldn't say they're the same, but they're very similar. And I, I cover several of his songs. Okay, what's the name of your band? Uh, the name of our band right now is Static Soul. Static Soul, I, I like that. We're going to give some Russell Craig Soul <laughs> with another song. How about that? Let's do it. <laughs> can be so amazing and i tell you just how beautiful you are come on baby take me to your car why don't you take me home i'll turn that radio on i'll take care of you like a mess of claws to her and turn that brown into green i'll be your lover be your friend and when you by your side Why don't you take me on I turn that radio on I take care of you like a man supposed to And I like that. I can listen to you play all day, man. Thank you. I mean, it's something there. I mean, it's like, wow, it's, it's all right. <laughs> okay, uh, what's on the horizon right now? Uh, what, do you, what, what do you got planned coming up? Well, uh, this Friday I got a show at Coach's Corner. It'll be an acoustic show, so that'll be about 6 o'clock. Uh, next Friday, which will be the first Friday in uh, – February, I'll be at Beslow's and Eclectic where they just did the Collage Idol. Mm -hmm. The band will be with me and we'll be throwing down. I'm actually singing the national anthem at uh, Central Alabama Community College's first uh, home game for the baseball season. Okay. So I'll be doing that on Thursday, about 1 o'clock. And uh, I'll be in Selma that night too, performing. So okay. I'm going to be busy the next couple of weeks. Okay, now you guys have to, well, you're going to get eight times to see this show, I hope, for, hopefully. So keep those uh, dates in mind. And, of course, you have an open date right here whenever you want to come back. Thank you. We've been in the Guilds Auto Sales segment of the show with Russell Craig. want to thank you so much for coming on. 
and we'll be back after these commercial messages.